Greetings everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at Transformers Legacy Core Class Dinobot Scar. I picked this figure up over at thecommandstore.com. Before we get into the figure, I just have to show off the artwork. This is beautiful artwork, and we have an Ankylosaurus this time, as opposed to a Velociraptor. Here's the back of the box, and the side is the art artwork that we've been seeing a lot of lately, or for this year. It's gorgeous. Let's open them up and take a look. Right out of the box, Scar is a little cutie. I love the paint on this thing, the silver on the front of the legs with the yellow and then the red and gold chest. And that head sculpt is so grumpy. I love it. The overall aesthetic of the robot mode is very nice. And I, I do have one minor complaint and that is there's just not enough paint up here, but the shoulders on the outside of the shoulders and the front of the legs, the silver showing up there does a lot of work for the figure as a whole. The figure itself is it's just a fun little core class figure. I, I like it quite a bit. Posability though is severely limited. Head is on a swivel, ball joint in the shoulder, arms do not move other than that ball joint in the shoulder. So you can move across like that. One thing I have noticed right off the bat getting this figure out of the box is that those shoulders are, um, I'm worried because there appears to be grinding and like schmutz and shavings of plastic already happening on both shoulders. They look like they've been coated in some kind of rough powder or something. I'm not sure what Hasbro did, and my old man eyes can't get in or can't look at something that tiny without really giving me a headache. The, the joint, what I'm saying is the joints in the shoulders are way too tight. The rest of the joints are not nearly as tight. Hips move, though not noodles, and the knees bend they're on ball joints as well again not noodles so poses pretty well there is torso articulation but you have to be careful because the directions say to put the ankylosaurus legs down over the hips like that but every time you move the hips the feet get kicked out so what you could do is just push the feet up under the armpits and that does make the silhouette work a little bit better it's less um Bulky, we'll say. And here's Scar with the other Dinobots. Yep, color scheme is exactly what I expected it to be. The silver does work for the entire line, and overall, I just, I like the look of it. The figure comes with one accessory that works as both its tail and its fist in combined mode, and that is this gun with an obvious fist sticking off the bottom. The one thing to note is that this whole fist is the same gray plastic that makes up the rest of the figure, just painted black. Now, the back of the figure is a little bit on the messy side because the head is sticking up all the way like that. What I like to do is take the little combiner piece and fold it almost all the way down, and that will then give you the ability to fold the head back a bit. Or you could just fold it a little bit farther down. You still have room for the torso articulation, but that just gets the head out of the way, so you have a much cleaner robot mode. Unfortunately, I've not found anywhere on this figure to stash the gun other than the piece the combiner piece you could just stick it on the back it's a very tight fit and then you have a <laughs> okay okay that just looks real stupid all right, transformation time for our little dino here. First, come to the back and flip up the dino head. That will cover the robot head, snaps it to place. Flip the little peg underneath the head like that. Take the legs and combine them and then rotate them around 180 degrees. Take the arms and fold them straight down and then flip them in front of what was the chest. Take the legs, fold them over and, cl and close them up. Then put the dino legs down and... Yep and grab your gun and peg it into its butt, and there we go. We've got ourselves a tiny little dino mode. Oh, I love it so much. Look at this little chunky boy. Oh, it's so chunky and nice. Oh, I love the tiny little chunkiness. I, this is a fun figure. It totally is. It's just tiny little chunky dino bot. Yes, more of it like this, please. Scar fits right in with the rest of the Dinobots. I, I absolutely love this new design in this new Dinobot. It, it's just so 
cute. And the coloring matches everybody else. It's just a nice little Dinobot. All right, it's combination time. Here we have the body of Volcanicus that I have so far. So we're going to take our little Scarboy and pull off the tail. Once we have the tail pulled off, take the rear of the, of the alt mode and flip it out. And then take the dino legs and push them up to be in line with the thighs. Take the entire section and turn it around so that the, well, <laughs> so it looks like that. Come to the bottom of the figure and flip out the connector port. Then take the dino legs, front dino legs, and fold them down like that. And then on the inside of the back of the dino legs, or the robot legs, you're going to find this peg that's right there. And that will peg into the fist. And there we go. And that pegs in to our boy up here. And we have Volcanicus now with one extra arm. Yeah, got to admit, it's looking pretty good. We just need more limbs, and I already have a swoop. That'll be the next video review. And then hopefully later this year, Snarl. Overall, I love this little dude. He is so much fun. It's a wonderful transformation. You get two fun modes, and the combined mode works really well. So it's definitely a winner and definitely worth picking up. So folks, let me know what you think of Scar down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Bolt Matrix, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.